Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the Dornier Doe X flying boat. Welcome back aboard this giant plane. And I'm anchored off the coast of Huntington Beach, California. And as you can see, it's nearing sunset right now. It is just after 6.30 p.m. And it's a very gorgeous evening. And I was just down here finishing up a drink. And now I'm going to go ahead and head on to the cabin, the cockpit there, flight deck. And get the plane started up and going to fly over to Catalina Island. And I'm going to go to the harbor the city of Avalon, Avalon Harbor. I got some music on here. Just kind of, you know, chill in the moment. Alright, and as you can see, I have some windows open, so I'm going to go ahead and close them. Get ready for takeoff. Okay, starboard side windows are closed. Now we're going to start the closing the port side windows. All right, uh, let's see. Make sure my throttles are on idle here. We don't want them to start with all that cranked up. All right. The anchor is still down, so I'm going to keep the anchor down. And let's get the battery switch on, and we're going to get ready to go ahead and get the plane airborne. Alright, so let's go ahead and click here. Go. Oh wait, let's check our lights real quick. Alright, so let's, let's see. Cargo hatch. Okay, everything's closed. Now what we're going to do is put our lights on. Our nav lights and strobe lights, landing lights, and the rest will be okay. Well, we can put our cabin lights on, okay? So now let's go ahead down here and let's check this here. There we go. All right, let's put this up. All right, and um, engine generator. We could turn the auxiliary generators off, engine generator on, and get our fuel valves on. Fuel valves on. Now what I'm going to do also is, those are good, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this switch right here for the auto starter. Get this giant beast cranked up. Good start on all 12 engines. So let's start pulling away from the shore here and get out a little ways and get ready to head on over to Catalina Island. Let's get our anchor pulled up. We'll drop that once we get to Avalon Harbor. That is a good scene, it really is. Love it. I absolutely love it. Sun set over the water right here. 
Okay, let's put the music on a little bit longer here while I taxi out. Okay, so you all ready? Let's go. Full throttle. Wait for that 155 on the speed right here, and then I'm gonna come back slowly. Gotta get your speed. Right about there. Nice gentle takeoff. And I believe Avalon is right here. I think. I think. Could be wrong. Let me check. SoCal approach Dornier Golf Charlie Tango 1022 yep. is type Dornier 7. Pretty much straight shot. Of John Wayne 200 feet. Request flight following. Dornier Golf Charlie Tango 1022 SoCal approach. Squawk 0323. Walk zero tree, two tree, Dornier, zero two two. Dornier zero two two, radar contact, eight miles southwest. Should only take us roughly about 15 minutes to get here. Altimeter two niner, decimal niner eight. Let's go Roger, walk Dornier, up front. Zero, two, I like two. to do that. SoCal approach, Dornier Golf Charlie Tango, one zero two two. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Dornier Golf Charlie Tango 1022 Subhill approach. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Cleared through Charlie airspace Dornier 022. I think I like this for a screenshot or thumbnail. This is screen. So if I decide to use it, let me just try to get a good one here. How about right there? Sometimes YouTube is pretty good. Sometimes it's selecting some good ones. Not always on my short videos. My short videos sometimes, and you know, not always. They don't always pick the best. For that and it doesn't let you change it I wish it would but mostly what you want to be able to change is your, your full-length videos let's take a look at our, our height um, oh, we about 1500 feet I'm gonna go up to about 3,000 maybe I'm at full throttle right now of these clouds on the water like this. Let's 
getting dark kind of quickly, huh? Well, the sun's also being blocked by these clouds here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get leveled off at this altitude. I think I don't want to get too much high because it might have visibility issues. So let's go back a little bit now. about there. I can maintain my current heading. Keep this heading just like this. So yeah, uh, right about two three zero. Or oh, no two about two uh, two fifteen. Yeah, it's getting uh, visibility is getting to be not the best, and I can't even see Catalina Island right now. So I don't have a visual on it at all. But I've got my VFR map here, but I don't need it. Like I said, it just keep my heading the same. I could come back some on the throttle too. I'm thinking I will. Let me see. Let me check to see if... if yeah, see, I'm already at 3,000 feet. Let's come back more. So... I don't need all that power right now. fly on the west coast mostly most of my flights are on the east coast out of Miami Fort Lauderdale Bahamas you know things like that but when I do fly out of the west coast here I do fly to Catalina Island a lot I believe my last flight here I want to say I don't think I'm, I'm flowing this one here yet. I don't think so. I mean, I've done so many flights, I forget. <laughs> so, if I did, hey, here's another one. But, um, I flew the Technom 2016. I think that was the last plane I flew into Catalina. Man, the visibility. The problem, huh? It's a black cloud. I don't think there's going to be any rain. And I'm gonna come back some more because I want to get. I really would like to get below this cloud cover. Okay, so now we pretty much break it into IFR conditions. But I won't have a problem with that. But what I will do is I will put my landing lights on. Let's see where the landing lights right here. We'll put those on. Heading, am I still at two? Let's see if I make sure I'm still at 220. Oh no, I'm a little old. Oh, no, we way off. We way, way off. I gotta turn back which way? Let's see. Yeah. Now, 
want me to see here where my altitude is at. Okay, let, let's go ahead and let it keep descending. What we don't want to do is come up on Catalina too quick and then we have these mountains here or high hills. And There's a reason why they call it the airport in the sky over there in Catalina. It's, it's the elevation, I want to say, is like close to 2,000 feet. still having trouble seeing. Okay, but I can kind of start seeing a little bit now. I mean, I would hope so. Look where I'm at. I'm at 1,500 feet here, and I'm still having these thick clouds. All right, so we're going to Catalina, the uh, Avalon is right up, right up here. Right up in there. Or it could be further out this way. But we're gonna see that, but we know we at least we got a visual now, so I'm believing right here, but I could be wrong. Either way, we're on the right track. Okay, so now let's come on back and we'll put some more throttle in because we're getting a little bit too low right now. We'll be there before sun sun sets totally. Climb a little bit more. maintain its heading and altitude. I'm going to go ahead and start descending. So yeah, basically we were trying to fly VFR conditions in IFR conditions, but it's um it seems to be working out. And if I'm right, that's Avalon right there. I thought it was down further, like out this way, but I don't I don't know. I could be lost too. We're gonna find out. But either way, it's fine because I'm just gonna turn and go along the coast out this way until I see the harbor. But I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't know. Either way, I am... I'm going pretty good, decent up to Let's go a little bit higher on the throttles. Yep, that does appear to be Avalon, and that is the harbor. It does appear to be that. Or is that just the side of the rocks there? Well, there's a boat out here, so that might kind of help give it away a little bit. Oh, 
Oh well, yeah, we are on the right track. That is it. So let's go ahead and get ready to, to set it down right here. Just in time. I don't mind coming in here at night if I had to. What I'm going to do is drop anchor right there in the harbor. Reflections kind of make things a little tricky sometimes. Coming right on in. I'm still questioning the fact that that is out on it. It just looks so much like rock formation just up from a distance. Let's get up front a little bit. It could be, it might not be. Okay, yeah, it is. What's so different coming in here in the evening like this? And it, the reflections, it just, like I said, it makes things look really, really different. It'll all make sense as I get closer, I guess. Okay, so we kind of ease it on into the harbor. A lot of boat traffic around here. You know, a lot of boats on anchor, so I do have to be very, very careful coming in here.
I'm gonna have to keep it bent. I almost hit him. I'm gonna have to keep it really, really down. The throttle, I don't need to be on that throttle at all. I don't want to think I want to hit that expensive yacht either, so I really came close to that fishing boat. It probably would have been better to have a tug pull me in here, but usually I can get in here, okay. But we're going to stay easy on the throttle and just ease it, just like this. This is how you really should do it. Stay off the bugle horn. I don't want to wake anyone up in case they take an evening nap or dining. I don't want to disturb the serenity of the harbor. All right, this looks good. This looks good. Let's go ahead and we will turn the engines off here. By shutting the fuel valves. Oops, I accidentally hit the pass <laughs> bugle. Okay, so welcome to Avalon. Catalina Island. I do like how the lights are on just on the buildings and the houses and everything. So let's go ahead and get our anchor dropped. Come on a little further here. Anchor. Drop that down. That way we don't move and Yeah, that anchor dropped. Okay, let's see if I have my lights on down below. Okay, I think so. We'll turn our strobe lights and nav lights off. Let's go down below. It's rather nice down here. And this is a really nice view, I gotta say. Look at this. Oh, this might be the, the thumbnail. thumbnail. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can see, how would you like to be sitting here in the evening? Docked in the harbor, having some food and drink. And it's not appropriate without classical music, right? Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed the flight. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. I hope you all enjoy your stay in Avalon. So until next time. Bye for now.